So unfortunately, I do think this might just be the last ride on the Apollo RFC. You okay? Well, something's just like crunchy, crunchy, crunch. I don't know. It just sounds like What is up boys? Welcome to the channel for today's video. We're out here having some fun exploring around. Spent the last two hours cutting a new trail open. Hopefully after we get a rainfall or two, we'll go out and take you guys on our new trail. So we're gonna have a pretty gnarly hill climb right around the corner from here. this stinking machete in my backpack and it just keeps punching me in the back of the head I don't know if it's you or me but it smells kind of like burning rubber Does it? I got a whiff of burning rubber just right there so unfortunately, I do think this might just be the last ride on the Apollo RFC. Everything just seems to keep on breaking on it. And uh, it's getting really, really frustrating that you come out for a ride like today. And uh, you know, we'd cut some trail, go to go ride. And then you got, got oil leaking out the vent too, which is not good. It's ex excessive blow by, which you know, it uh, could be plenty of different things. And then the brake caliper in the rear is now leaking. And then after having our axle blow apart last weekend, and the weekend before that it was something, and the weekend before that it was something, it's just like every single weekend, something's breaking every single ride and I'm just over it. So I think it's time we go ahead and get some big bike for the channel. What do you guys think about that, eh? I need something that I can go ride and not have brake every single time. And I'm, I'm just over it. I'm over it. I'm ready for a, a bigger bike, something with electric start too, it'd be super duper nice. So this might just be the last ride you guys see on the old Apollo. I'm interested to know if I sell the RFZ, what kind of bike would you guys be interested in seeing on the channel? I've definitely got a bike build in mind, and I know exactly what I want to do with it. But it takes a little bit of this stuff. So if you guys are excited for what's next and what's next on the channel, make sure you guys go down below and slap the like button. It'll definitely be sweet. So if you guys are curious, that comes out to about a year and a half. We've been riding the Apollo RFC. And I tell you, it has been fun. It's been a really good starter bike and really great for me to progress and learn on. But I've progressed and I've learned and I learned that I want a better bike one that rips harder. Speaking of the Apollo RFZ sucking, I just got a flat tire. Like, God damn it. I just can't win with this thing, man. This is why I'm over it. That's why I'm fully over it. Should have went the other way. Flat front tire. Yeah. Hey, man. I'm over it. Super over the bike. Absolute disaster today. Absolute disaster. Thank God we have the XR100. Oh man, I'm just frustrated as hell with this RFZ. Absolutely frustrated. Yeah, this is definitely the last ride on the RFZ. That's 100%. I'm selling this hunk of sh So I'm so, so fed up with it. So there you go. This is the, the story of the uh, Amazon pit bike from start to finish. You guys saw it from day one till its last day in our hands. This thing's gone. This thing is absolutely gone. I just really hope we didn't cut us like cut into the sidewall. I also burnt the hell out of my finger, cut my hand open, sliced my heel open today. So what an absolute gong show horrible day it's been. Other than cutting open the new trail, which I'm very excited to try. Although I'm definitely not going to be hitting it on the Apollo RFZ because this thing's going in the junk. Absolute garbage. Absolute garbage. If you guys want to help me out down below in the description and uh, give me some kind words of encouragement or maybe some ideas for a bike you'd like to see featured on the channel, 
of all ears at this point. Although I am pretty dead set on what bike I do want to get next. I'm definitely open to seeing what you guys have to say. But we're just trying to get back before it's uh, completely flat and then I'm f***ing the rim up. Because I don't want to buy a new rim either. I want to just try and get a tube, put a new tube in the bike and uh, clean it, make everything look as nice as it can and then sell it. I think this is my first time getting a flat tire on the front though. Normally get flats in the rear. There's those damn super duper sharp rocks, man. Well, that was the last Bon Voyage, boys. She bent and she wobbly. Just a front flat, yeah. Well, that was fun while she lasted, boys. Hope you guys have enjoyed the Apollo RFZ content. Like I said, if you guys want to see more, you know what you got to do to make it happen. Thousand likes. Sounds crazy, but it's got to be crazy. Otherwise, I just can't afford this thing, man. It's so uh, so expensive fixing it all the damn time. I'm just burning money when I could be buying a new bike. It's going to ride a whole lot better, go a lot longer, be faster, stronger. You know the whole story. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys know what to do if you want to see some more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.